St. Peter's Health Partners is proud to celebrate its 20,000th robotic surgery performed at St. Peter's Hospital in August of 2022. To reach 20,000 robotics cases is really quite an achievement and um, you know, it puts us in the top one to two percent in the country and probably in the world. The Capital Region's leader in endoscopic, laparoscopic, and robotic procedures, St. Peter's is one of only 26 health systems in the world to have reached this milestone. What I think it shows is St. Peter's continues to be in the vanguard in bringing leading edge technologies to our community of patients here in the Capital District. 20,000 lives touched by innovation, by the caring, skilled hands of our entire surgical team, helping those in pain heal faster. Patients like Allison Herdemian and our own president and CEO, Dr. James Reed. Couldn't have kept going the way I was, I couldn't have. I didn't even know how much pain I was in before until now that it's gone. It saved my life being able to be right here locally, to have the skill, to have the technology, and to have the experience that we have here at St. Peter's. Uh, and uh, in our robotic uh, center of excellence. St. Peter's has a long history with robotic surgery. Our specialists in GYN surgery and urology surgery were pioneers in doing robotic surgery in our area. In 2004, St. Peter's Hospital became the first hospital in the Capital Region to acquire and use a Da Vinci computer-enhanced surgical system. In 2014, St. Peter's acquired the Da Vinci XI surgical system and was one of the first hospitals in the nation and first in the region to use the state-of-the-art equipment. This technology offered an even higher level of precision for surgeons. The robotic itself has become an essential and invaluable tool for us uh, minimally invasive surgeons in terms of, of the um, different opportunities and the different procedures that we can now um, explore. In the beginning of the program, we only had um, urology and gynecologic oncology. And over the years, gynecologic oncology has grown to one of the busiest services in the country for robotic surgery. And we've also added colorectal surgery, hepatobiliary surgery, general surgery, and thoracic surgery. Our goals were pretty simple when we started. Um, basically, it was just to provide the highest quality care for patients in the most minimally invasive fashion that we could. St. Peter's Health Partners is proud to operate six Da Vinci surgical systems currently in use at both St. Peter's and Samaritan hospitals. Robotic surgery is awesome. It allows me to do really big surgeries that we would usually do with a big incision through small incisions. Very cool, like you see really clear, more detailed. Most open cases, you don't get to see everything the surgeon is doing. Um, and with the robot, you can see it on the screen, uh, detail. Um, the robotic platforms adds two extra set of arms to the procedure that we're doing. When we use the robotic instruments, they're three-dimensional and Besides being able to see in 3D, the instruments move in three dimensions and have wrists and allow us access to areas that would be very difficult laparoscopically. And so there's less trauma, less bleeding, and potentially less pain. Since I've said that they are amazed at how how well they feel shortly after recovering from a robotic surgery. Uh, patients' recovery is so much better. They can go home quicker. They're able to take less pain, pain medication. Now they're coming in, having their kidney operated on and leaving sometimes even the same day. They're back to work in three weeks instead of two or three months out of work. And that time-saving aspect can have a profound impact on patients' lives. I have a full-time job. I have two teenagers. I have two dogs. If they had to have cut me, from hip to hip, that's months of recovery time. Months, like I don't have, who has time to do that? With the robot, you're able to get back to your life sooner, but still have had the procedure that you need to have to be able to live your life. I had robotic surgery uh, because we had both the technology here and the team, as I said, uh, and it's that combination that is so important. Uh, you need that very skilled surgeon um, but you also need those skilled nurses, uh, medical physicians, uh, technicians. And, uh, the other thing that you need besides that team to handle a complicated situation like mine is you need the technology. 
Um, we being more than lucky and honored that we have more than one available rob robot at this institution. So not only does it open the availability for the surgeons, but accessibility then for the patients. You know, not only have the surgeons become robotically trained, but our nurses and our techs have too. And uh, I think it is a draw for people who want to be employed here. The reason I came to St. Peter's Hospital was because of the robots, because of the access to minimally invasive surgery and the access to cutting edge technology. That's what brought me here. Just have a great team here and we'll continue to provide the best quality care we can for our patients. We provide such care, such needed care in the community for cancer and for such sick patients that it's, it's great that we're still able to provide that care even in this time of COVID and post-COVID. This would not have been possible without the generous support of our uh, philanthropists in our community who have supported our hospital steadfastly over the years. That support has really been crucial and um, from everybody here at St. Peter's, I'd just like to say thank you. I think Albany should be proud that St. Peter's Health Partners is not only one of the nation's top hospitals, but one of the top robotic centers in the entire country. Congratulations to everybody on reaching our 20,000th robotic case. I'm so proud of everybody and the work that you've done. It's been great and we're excited for our staff to keep learning. Felicidades, compañeros. Congratulations to all my colleagues. Congratulations, St. Peter's. Thank you for what you did for me personally. And thank you for what you've done for this entire community, for the people you care for every single day, the compassion you show, as well as the tremendous skill that you show. Congratulations to the whole team. I'm very proud of everyone that's, that's made this happen. Congratulations to all the surgeons, nurses, techs, to the pre-op folks, to the PACU folks, and to all the patients. It's been a great pleasure serving you in our community. Congratulations.